Hi hey everyone, CR Games Scott here, and I am uploading what will likely be the last video for this channel. As you probably know, I quote unquote retired once before, and I believe this one will be the final uh, retirement video, the actual retirement video. For those of you wondering why it's just a blank screen this time, uh, in the interim of me recording videos, I guess YouTube has some new features, one of which is you can record directly from a webcam on uh, via the YouTube interface instead of uploading a video, which is somewhat prohibitive. It takes just takes a little bit of time to upload. So I'm going to go this route. Uh, you can't really turn off the video, I guess, so I just put a sticky note over my webcam, and I just am using that just so I don't have my image out there, particularly as I close down the channel. But um, so, if you're wondering about that, that, that is why the setup is the way it is. Anyway, I'm just going to use this video to discuss why I am closing things down. I know I haven't uploaded a video for about a year, but I've seen some comments on my channel and elsewhere about um, where I've been, and I just want to let you guys let you guys know um, what's happening. Uh, just to give you an explanation in a nutshell for those of you who aren't particularly interested in me rambling on with everything, uh, it's pretty much the exact same reasons that were in my initial retirement video, pretty much just a lack of time and uh, varying interests that have dragged me away from having the time to be able to record these videos and LPs. Definitely appreciate everything, definitely appreciate all the fans, um, people leaving comments, most comments at least. Um, uh, I would definitely appreciate being able to relive part of my childhood and live, relive many um, of these great games. And um, uh, however, the life's just gotten a little bit more busy, and my interests have uh, changed a little bit. So, very similar to my last last time, I will probably talk a little bit about that. If you listen for a duration of of the um, video, and by that I mean uh, my reasoning, some of the more detailed reasons I had um, from my previous retirement video. Anyway, uh, if you are just wanted to have a brief update, there it is, and I wish everybody the best, and um, uh, hope my videos were able to bring you some joy and interest in uh, as you explored YouTube and relive some of the Sierra games. Um, for those of you who do want a more detailed explanation, let me um, say that it, once again, it is very similar to my last YouTube video. My last YouTube video, a uh, retirement video at least, was the end, I think, uh, ellipses, uh, question mark, and left me, left me an opening to get back into the LP world, and I um, sort of did get a little bit involved again. If you have an interest in watching that, you can go, it's on my YouTube channel, and I may try to link from this video to that video. If you really need to know every last detail, or really are interested in every last detail, and have not seen that video previously. Um, just, I w want to apologize, I know last time I left things off, I left in the middle of Space Quest V. The game just wasn't as intriguing me as much as I thought it would, and my I had a lot more going on in my life. My job um, became a lot more intensive, as I recall, and so I didn't have the time to take care of it. I came back, oh, I don't know, was it a year later? Um, probably roughly a year later, out of retirement, and the reason was I had a new job which wasn't as intensive um, I got home a little earlier. It wasn't as stressful. It wasn't something I was focused as focused on. And it was around Christmas time. I thought it'd just be. A, I had some free time. I thought it'd be nice, kind of a nice treat during Christmas um, to have a new LP. I know I at the time I really enjoyed seeing some new LPs by people um, who I who I followed. And I thought maybe some people who follow me or search for LPs, etc., might like to see something like that, even if it's 20, 30 people or so. So I th I got. Um, back into the LP world and started with a very unambitious game, which is the first Ben Jordan game. The Ben Jordan series became a lot more complex over time, but the original game, even though I played the deluxe version, wasn't particularly um, intensive. I think it probably was under 10 videos, so I was able to get through that pretty quickly. Probably a good thing to do, probably a nice um, little video, a little uh, Christmas present, if you will. Unfortunately, I uh, became sort of ambitious again, and I tried to take on a game that is very complex, very deep, and also very prone to all sorts of errors that can 
caused the game to crash. And unfortunately, I encountered some of those errors. I got things became a little bit more involved for me, and the game was a, a very ambitious endeavor to LP. And unfortunately, I just got sidetracked from it and left off in the middle of the game, or probably not even the middle of the game. So I, I regret that. I definitely don't like it when LPers um, discontinue in the middle of an LP. I'm sure some of you were looking forward to seeing things progress. And uh, unfortunately, all those issues kind of combined to make it difficult for me to continue with it, and then over time I just kind of lost lost track of everything and never really got back into it, and, and unfortunately I don't, don't plan to. I think with the Space Quest, as with the Space Quest 5 video, I'm going to leave it as is, um, so I'm going to leave the videos up there for anyone who can find any value from it. Fortunately, there's an excellent LP um, by Her Crabbiness and Late Blate. I would search for it. Usually when you search Let's Play for Quest Ruler 4, there should be the one that comes up, even though I know one of them doesn't really LP anymore, and they've broken up and things like that. But they really did an excellent excellent job on it, and I think uh, if you want to really get a great we'll walk through the whole game from the Paladin's perspective, which is probably the best perspective for the game, uh, definitely, definitely check that out if you are looking for the, a full LP of the series. I would just like to update you a little with how things are for me. Um, not, not that's in particularly important, but just to give you the full explanation. So, um, at the time, one of the things I mentioned in my previous retirement video was that I really, really appreciated having the opportunity to LP some of these great games from the past that um, were a little obscure. I, I don't know too many people who actually played Sierra games when I was younger who weren't introduced to the Sierra series, at least in part through me or my, or my family. And um, it just never was as popular as Nintendo games, the, the more action-oriented games like Mario and Zelda. And it's probably because they required a little bit more thought in times and appealed more to adults, not necessarily in the content per se, though some of them were a little bit inappropriate for children, but um, I mean there were definitely benefits in terms of critical thinking and spelling and such, but for a little kid who just wants to mash buttons, I'm sure, it wasn't necessarily as intriguing, and had I had access to Nintendo, perhaps I wouldn't have found um, as much value in some of these Sierra games. But in any event, it was really just a, a, a special point in my life uh, I was recently graduated from graduate school, uh, unemployed, had a lot of debt, and so as I was trying to figure out my life, it w gave me it was a real great conduit to be able to play some of these games, share comments with others, and just be involved. I don't know if I'm say a community, but in discussion with people who enjoyed the, the games and being able to just put them out there and and walk through these games again, relive part of my childhood. And uh, I'm glad that they're out there and they're, that some people are enjoying them. And I think most of the feedback I get is, is pretty positive. I, I really still hold to that. I really still appreciate all the, um, um, all the people who, who watch and comment on them. And I'm, um, I'm grateful for that, for that time. But uh, my life is just, is just different. I've ha fortunately, I've been a lot more employable. I've had a bunch of job opportunities and um, been able to move into my own apartment and just have a bunch of other things going on that really make being an LP or prohibitive, uh, just not having the same same amount of free time. And uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Life just changes, but unfortunately, it's just not the LP. It doesn't dominate my life, I guess, the way it did beforehand. And just when I had so much free time in my hand, not only would I record LPs, I'd watch pretty much anything I could get my hands on. Uh, if there are new LPs coming out, I was waiting with bated breath for each one to get uploaded. I um, sought out a bunch of different resources to, to find particularly Sierra game LPs, and uh, I think they were great, great to watch and great to be involved in recording them as well. So, but um, these days, I really, it's been a while since I've watched any LPs. I know there's a few out there that maybe I would, would want to watch, but just it's just not what's captivating me at this at this stage of my life. And I um, and I think it's just time to fully move on. So 
I wanted to get on back onto YouTube to just explain things again. Um, I would be very surprised if I came out of retirement this time. I like I said, it's just not something that's motivating me at this time. And there's other things in my life um, that occupy my time. So even around the Christmas or something, I just don't don't feel like I'd have the opportunity to even take a stab at short game. Once again, last time I came out of retirement for a little bit of um, for a little bit, and it's always a possibility. But really, I, I kind of had last time in the back of my mind that there would be some other opportunities to maybe take a break, and maybe I shouldn't have phrased it as a retirement. But this time, I think it's a little bit more um, serious. So, uh, so I hope it's not terrible news day. But obviously, I haven't been recording for a long time, so I shouldn't be shouldn't be too shocking. But I just want to say I, I definitely once again appreciate everything and um, appreciate having the channel. Um, you know, in some ways, I wish I could have built things into a larger enterprise, but uh, just wasn't wasn't the direction things things went, and I, I don't think that's um, too bad. The last thing I did, um, or probably the last sort of adventure game um, oriented um, pursuit I had was I played the final Ben Jordan game in the Ben Jordan series, her crabbiness. Um, who I've, whom I follow and reference many times, ha did a great LP of three through eight. Ben Jordan three through eight, which is and three is where the story arc kind of starts, so that's why she started there, I believe. And um, I did play, and she so she got me into the games. I played through most of them unless she LP'd the unless I watched her LP beforehand. So I think I, I think I played through five through eight myself and of course watched her LPs. But I just want to say that I, I played the eighth game in the series. Um, definitely recommend the series. But it, it was kind of neat too in the sense that this was it took a while to come out and I had played all the games actually probably well after they had been published. And now everything came to a close and it was I don't know if the game ended the way I would have wanted or expected or hoped, but it it was there was closure to it, and I just felt that was that's kind of neat, kind of a neat situation where you play through the whole game, and there's character development, and you get to know people, and there's uh, or get probably not necessarily people, but characters, and just uh, build something for you, and then at the end it just just kind of wraps up, and it's a that's a, especially a long series like that is sort of a chapter of your life, and I, I see that with a lot of these Sierra games in my childhood in the same way that many times there's years between the different um, installments and in Space Quest and King's Quest and particularly Quest for Glory and uh, you know, it was just a portion of my life where that was really interesting and just wanted to see what happens next and what befalls the characters and even with the individual games as you you play through it and try to solve the puzzles over time then eventually it just comes to a close and that's the same way with, um, with Ben Jordan I think and just um, it was a good series, and things came to an end, and a little bittersweet that you'd want to see more, and maybe didn't, things didn't work out the way exactly you expected, um, but, it, but it ended. And um, I think, if I'm not too sentimental, but the same way with um, working through the LP, is that it was a really cool time um, in my life, and um, in so obviously not necessarily outside the LP world, but at least in there, a real outlet, a real uh, component of... I guess escapism, for lack of a better word, and it just let me be able to play some like Gold, Gold Rush and um, Conquest of Camelot and some of these other games, and just explore them again, see different small things, be able to explain them, be able to get them out, out on YouTube, hear some feedback, and so um, that came to a close uh, a while ago. My second stab came to a close a little bit more recently. And now I just want to close things out for good. Um, so I hope everyone um, ha can still continue, perhaps, to enjoy some of these LPs. Um, as I'll leave them up as long as YouTube's around, and as long as before YouTube goes away at GeoCities or something in the probably distant future. But um, for the time being, everything will be available. I uh, really appreciate everyone. Um, I've made some comments about commenting on some of the videos, and it's. Uh, you know, I'm certainly not above criticism, and it does, doesn't really bother me as long as it's not vitriolic or some of the more obnoxious criticisms. But uh, at least with the early LPs, um, I was just trying to cut my teeth on and getting involved. Didn't really know what I was doing, and so there were some issues with those. So there's not a m lot I can do except take those videos down. I don't really plan on doing that. So uh, if you ha are watching this, particularly before commenting on some of the other videos, or if you have commented and wondering why I haven't t responded or taken anything to heart, it's just uh, 
there's not a lot I can do, um, particularly with the Quest for Glory 3 series. I know there's a lot of problems with that. Definitely we've done a lot of things differently. But that's just a side note. Um, overall, though, great experience. Um, and I probably should stop, which is um, with one of my greatest peccadillos, which is talking too much on these videos and uh, rambling on. But um, I'll, I'll bring it to a graceful close. But once again, appreciate everything, and um, best of luck to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.